What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, we're going to talk about some news that just came out. We're going to uh, take you on a little walk here. Show you some things. But first, uh, some news about my new book. It's coming out, The Things That Happen at Night, my collection of short horror stories. It's still going to come out uh, next month in May. Uh, there will be a delay. I wanted to get it out at least by the middle of the month, but it looks like it's going to be at the end of the month now, at the end of May. Uh, unfortunately, my, uh, my lovely editor, who's been really helping me out with the stories, uh, she got a case of the Rona. She got the COVID, and it's really been kicking her butt. She's been uh, basically bedridden for the last two, two and a half weeks. And hasn't been able to uh, obviously do anything. And so there's going to be a delay in that. But uh, I'm still working on the stories. I'm still uh, finishing them up. So that will still be happening in May. And I also want to let you know that my video course, Live in Cambodia, <coughs> a guide for living in the Kingdom of Wonder, will be coming out uh, as soon as the book is released, one thing at a time. I have made uh, two videos for that series, and I'll let everybody know when it's going to be up, how you can watch it, and uh, all that good stuff. And of course, if you're a supporter of mine, you will get all those videos for free. <clears throat> no matter which platform I wind up putting this course on, if you're a supporter of mine, you will be receiving a discount code in the first three days of it being live and for that three days you'll be able to go in there and get 100% off so keep that in mind and that should be coming uh, probably sometime in June after the books all done and I get all that taken care of um, and if you're not a supporter of mine but you want to be not only will you receive my course for free you'll also receive a copy of my book live in cambodia as a way of me saying thank you for donating and also all my weekly supporter only videos and all the other stuff i post to them during the week stuff i don't put on here on my public channel and if you want to get in on that it's really easy down below there are links to my paypal ko-fi.com or you can join my Patreon. You do any of those things and you will be on the list and you will get all that stuff. And also keep in mind, if you're donating through PayPal, uh, in the little message box, give me your email address so that I know where to send it all. Just a little reminder. All right, <clears throat> all right, I got my coffee. We're headed out. Let's get on with the video. And it is starting to rain here. I'm feeling a, a few little drops. So I'll try to get this done and uh, ready as soon as I can before all that happens. I got to put the old uh, equipment away. You know how it is. But starting uh, May 1st, and right now as I'm recording this, it is April 30th here in Cambodia. April 29th back in the United States. But uh, starting May 1st, the government announced that they will be opening the border between Thailand at Poi Pet. This is uh, really good news that's going to uh, help a lot of people. If you're here on a tourist visa and you decide you want to stay longer than that will allow, your only option before was to fly out of the country. And as we all know, flying is a little bit expensive, especially right now. But you had to fly to a different country and come back in to uh, get another type of visa. But now with the Poi Pet border open, 
opening. You'll be able to cross there. Uh, you can take a bus, you can take a minivan. You can even go on foot, I guess, if you want. Get dropped off and walk through immigration, go into Thailand, turn around, come back, and they will give you the visa you require once you do that. Plus, people that just want to go to uh, Thailand and don't want to spend all that money to fly, now we'll have the option to, like I said, you can take a bus, you can take a minivan, <clears throat> go to Poi Pet, cross the border. I know uh, <clears throat> they have buses that leave from Siem Reap and Phnom Penh, and uh, we'll go to Poi Pet, they'll let everybody off at the border so you can get your exit card and entry card for Thailand. Then you get back on the same bus and uh, cross the border that way. So if you're going into Bangkok or something, it's much less expensive than flying. And you'll now be able to do that. <clears throat> now what will be required for you to go into Thailand, I don't know. I don't know their entry rules. I know they have the uh, this program they have where you have to have you have to meet certain conditions. But I'm not real sure on what those are. However, I will also want to add that crossing at the crossing at Poi Pet, uh, you will have to be fully vaccinated and of course have a valid passport and visa. So if you're non-vaccinated, you'll still have to arrange to fly if you want to change your visa type or go into Thailand for any other reason. Just something to keep in mind so you don't get uh, so you don't get confused or get caught up at the border there. I know in Vietnam there are I believe on the Vietnam border there are three different entry points right now but they're all originating from <clears throat> out of Phnom Penh or over by Phnom Penh different districts in that area I'm not sure what they are but uh, you should be able to find that information somewhere <clears throat> another thing and I don't I've never had anybody ask about this <laughs> at all but I know cryptocurrency is kind of a big deal for some people I know I have a few friends who are really into it. <clears throat> like I said, nobody has ever asked me personally about the laws regarding trading of cryptocurrency here in Cambodia. I don't know anything about it. I'm not a cryptocurrency guy. But I did read an article that the government wants to tell everybody that the trading of cryptocurrency is still illegal in Cambodia. I read the article, but not knowing anything about how all this blockchain stuff works, I, <clears throat> I don't know what any of it means, but apparently Cambodia is trying to come up with their own blockchain that they want to use before they, before they allow the trading of cryptocurrency here. Uh, so yeah, whatever that means, I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I'm not a cryptocurrency kind of guy. I know I have a wallet. I got one when, uh, when it started becoming a thing. I have no idea how to get it or do anything with it. But the last time I checked, I still have some Dogecoin in there. That, uh, that never went up past like, you know, 10, 13 cents per, <laughs> per unit or something. I don't know. <clears throat> But I don't know what to do with it. It's just sitting in there. Who knows? Maybe one day it'll catch on. And uh, those seven or eight Dogecoin I have will uh, be worth something someday. I don't know. But, uh... 
there's been a spate of traffic collisions lately that have been laid out in the Kamai Times. Most of them at night, most of them involving people who are under the influence of drugs or alcohol, crashing their SUVs into guardrails, crashing them into big buses, uh, things like that. So yeah, if, if you're going to take, a, I always tell people if they're going to take a bus or a minivan, uh, try to do it during the day. Don't take a night bus or a night minivan. <clears throat> There's a couple of reasons for that. First of all, uh, as I said, a lot of accidents happen here at night. People get drunk and get high and just go crazy. But the other reason is that sometimes these drivers that are hired by the companies, I mean, this is not, that's not their only job. They work maybe one, maybe two other jobs <clears throat> during the day. Then they have a night nice shift where they got to drive from like CM Reap to Phnom Penh, you know, six hours, eight hours, whatever it is, depending on the traffic and the driver. And uh, <clears throat> they might not be at their full attentive state that they should be to be driving. <laughs> there have been accidents here because of the uh, <clears throat> the drivers of these vehicles. They've fallen asleep, uh, nodded it off. That's never a good thing. I lost something light somewhere. Oh, there she is down there. place here got something cooking smelling good whatever it is I don't know what it is but it smells good it smells really good but anyway yeah I, I always tell people you know if you're gonna if you are gonna take a bus or a minivan somewhere do, uh, do it during the day it's just safer it's the same amount of money and if you can't afford it just take a private vehicle because people with private vehicles that's ooh, what do you got there Oh, oh yeah, little fried, uh, fried uh, bread, bread snacks, fried bread snacks. Yeah, very nice. But yeah, the private vehicles. That, this is what they do for a living, for the most part. You won't have to worry about other people. It will set you back sixty or seventy bucks each way, though. Keep that in mind. Where the bus or minivan. You know, usually about anywhere from six to ten dollars, depending on which vehicle you get, which company you go through. There are several here. <clears throat> so it depends on your finances, depends on your preference. All right. That'll do it for this one. I wanted to get that information out to you guys. If you're already in Cambodia, your tourist visa is about up, and you're wondering what you're going to do if you have to go back to your home country, no worries. Wait until Sunday. Get yourself uh, some form of transportation. Get up to quite that. And uh, get that taken care of. All right, be sure to check out all my links down below. As I said before, if you donate to uh, PayPal, Ko-Fi.com, or join my Patreon, all those links are down below and you'll have access to all the stuff I talked about earlier. There are other channels blogging from this part of the world. They are all listed down below, very good channels. You should definitely, definitely check them out. <laughs> A lot of good information. Also, my social media is down below. If you just want to purchase my books separately, I have links for those down below. And my other channel, if you're into that sort of thing, I review and discuss horror books exclusively. It's doing pretty well. I'm liking the progress, I'm liking the interaction on my Twitter. So if you're into that sort of thing, uh, the link down below for that. Well, the link for that is down below, is the way I wanted to say that. 
be sure to give it a like and uh, subscribe to that one as well. All right. Before it starts raining cats and dogs and everything else. Oh, by the way, here's a pet food store. If you do have pets, or you can come here and get one. Angkor Pet Supplies. It's right here on Wapbo Road, just for your heads up. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Stay safe, and I'll talk to you in the next one.